Girl, today I am fighting for my peace. Today is going to be more of like a chill vlog because I don't have energy like that. I had the worst dreams last night. So I just feel like it really drained my energy. Like I had literally the worst dreams in the world. And I know it's the enemy because the enemy can attack your dreams. And it tried to like get my morning, like it tried to like control my morning. Cause like, as we all know, or we might not all know this, but like if your morning starts off bad, like it can literally ruin your entire day. So I had like the ugliest, most terrible evil dreams last night like back to back to back the weirdest dreams irrelevant as crap um and it kind of like bothered me this morning and it's like even if you don't know something is bothering you like it's bothering you and i'm like accepting that those dreams did bother me so i was pretty darn moody this morning and i just could not get the hang of it like it is literally already 12 21 and i am just now turning on the camera and just now getting around because um motion detected in the front yard you're gonna be quiet like i said i'm fighting for my peace because it's like every little thing is trying to irritate me um it definitely bothered me and so it had me in like a super moody mood like i was just not like going for it at all like i didn't even want to go downstairs and like talk to my family this morning because i'm i know myself and i know that if i'm not in a good mood i am not trying to put that off on anybody else and i know that i am not that type to try to like ruin other people's day just because my day is not starting off the best since i wasn't like in the best mood jordan and i got to bickering a little bit i think we like both realized what we were bickering about was like nothing so like mid bicker i don't even want to say argument it was just like a heated conversation it really wasn't even that bad but we're bickering right and like midway we both just start smiling and we're just like okay i'm sorry like let's just move on and so we moved on and um i'm definitely feeling a lot better but it's like it's crazy how much can stem from the enemy attacking your dreams and like getting you to be like moody and like mean towards people and it can like ruin relationships and like all this different stuff it's crazy but the enemy is such a liar so I am fighting for my peace today, but I'm not the most energetic and I'm not the most like, hey, um, yeah, it's really not that kind of day. So y'all are going to see some real, uh, I don't know where I was going with that, but just like some real emotions and stuff like that. Cause I'm really just, I'm just like, I'm fighting for it, but I'm just like, I'm not all the way where I want to be today. So just bear with me, you guys. I'm doing my hair right now. I just got out of the shower. I smell amazing. You know how when you, it's like I get really happy when I start talking about like smells and stuff like that. You know how like if you have like a bunch of products, um, you kind of forget about certain products. And I forgot how good Jergens, the original scent, cherry almond smells and how long it lasts in my body. Like it literally smells so good. Yesterday, I was outside and I just kept smelling the Jergens lotion. Like I just smelled so good and today I smell good too. And it is just like such a good feeling when you smell good. Like, um, love it. Okay, love it. So that just kind of made me a little happier. Talking about smell goods. Um, I don't know what perfume I'm going to wear today, but it's like the Jergens Sherry Almond just smells like super clean. So you can wear whatever with it. I'm not too picky about like what I layer my scents with because a lot of fragrances just go together and they just smell like cool and unique and different, you know? So that's where I'm at. And I was like reading my Bible this morning. I'm in Psalms right now. Um, I love Psalms and I do want to go over um, my notes that I took from Psalms and like some things that I'm getting from Psalms because Psalms is so amazing. So yeah, we'll go over that because I, I definitely, that also really sparks my mood when I can talk about what I've learned and like I'm gonna do some things to help myself today which is of course smelling good y'all know I let it smell good um my mom has to go grocery shopping today and she's gonna go to Walmart so I'm gonna go to Walmart with her and then I'm gonna go and look at some hair care stuff because you guys my hair is progressing my hair is super soft it looks super amazing it is doing so good um I'm going to attempt to do like the same hairstyle I did in my recent video if you watched my um perfume collection then you know i've never done a hairstyle like that before but i want to do it again today but the only difference about today is that i just washed my hair so my hair is wet um and last time when i did it i kind of like 
I dampened it a little bit with this um, Hask Biotin Leave-In Spray. It smells so good. That's another thing that's making me smell amazing. It's like everything comes together to make you smell good. Like every little thing, the deodorant, the lotion, the hair care, um, the body spray, the perfume, whatever the heck, it just all comes together to make you smell amazing. But one thing I cannot stand is when, and I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible, is when somebody smells nice and their breath stinks. It just not, it makes the fragrance so gross and it just ruins the entire vibe of what they were going for. Like when your breath smells bad and like you smell good but your breath stinks, I'm sorry, I hope nobody takes offense to that, but if you do, please brush your teeth. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I told you, I'm in a moody type of mood today. But like I told you guys, um, on my first vlog like coming back I was telling you guys that there are days where I feel like I don't have much to offer but I still need to show up on those days so I'm showing up today even though I don't really like feel all the way here cuz I'm like Bleh. and I'm a little hungry and I ate a chicken pot pie for breakfast with sriracha sauce <laughs> okay okay so I have never tried I had never tried sriracha sauce until like Starbucks cuz that's the only sauce they have they have like avocado but like the avocado spread and sriracha that's all they have and the avocado spread is so bland because it has like no citrus like no lemon so I started to tap into the sriracha at first I was like mm, but now I'm like um so when I go to Walmart today I'm not only gonna go look for like some hair care products I'm mainly looking for different gels because you guys know I love that the main choice biotin gel but it's just way too expensive when I'm doing hairstyles like this and using it all in my hair like I could use that to like scrunch my hair up but today or the other day I used this Cantu maximum hold moisture retention styling gel all throughout my hair and I just raked it through and it gave me that look that I was going for like a wet look a little bit um so I'm gonna get sriracha what was I talking about sriracha it's so good so when I go to Walmart <laughs> Girl, I'm not only getting hair care products, I am getting sriracha sauce because, oh my gosh, sriracha sauce makes everything better. The other day I ate, um, which is so weird because like, I've been liking different foods. Um, I think my anxiety was so bad that it was stopping me from liking a lot of different foods, but I could not stand McDonald's breakfast for so long. But I like the sausage egg McMuffins. They smell pretty bad, but they're, they're really good. And um, the other day I was eating it and I was like, no, this needs sriracha sauce. And I just never... Got my butt up to go downstairs and grab the sriracha sauce. So I just kind of ate it plain. But I was like, dude, the next time I eat a sausage egg McMuffin, I am eating it with sriracha sauce. Because I have been craving like hot sauces and like sriracha sauces. And just like, mmm. I always want something different. Anyways. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that hairstyle that I did last time. It it needs a lot of gel. So I really hope it turns out cute. I want to say something. I don't think my mom liked the hairstyle. Because usually she'd be like, girl, you look so cute. Girl, she didn't say nothing. She was just like you know so we'll see what she says to <laughs> because i did not get a compliment from my mom that day i think she just likes how my hair looks when it's like you know how i usually do it she didn't say anything though so anyways and like i was telling you guys <laughs> that day when i went down there with my hair looking like that she was also like um yeah i told you guys on my recent video but if you haven't watched it my perfume collection um that cute i'll show you guys later on but that cute ring that i was talking to you guys about and or talking to you guys well i was showing you guys and my get ready with me um i have a emerald ring and the other one i didn't know was emeralds too because for some reason i thought that emeralds was only like like was only like the deep green color like my birthstone because i always had green and gold earrings like emerald and gold earrings growing up because that was my birthstone um i just thought that was the only like emerald color so i thought it was like that's what an emerald is so I was like yeah my mom got me this gold ring with like green stones in it and she was like yeah I watched your video they're great they're funny they're awesome she said but that's not a green stone those are emeralds those are emeralds I was like I am so sorry she was like I was like girl no you did not just say them as some green stones um so they're emeralds actually sorry about that and she just bought me an emerald and gold necklace to match my emerald ring i have to show you guys i have some jewelry to show you guys like the ones i have on right now i want to show you guys up a little bit close my words are not going together very well i am messing up my words but yeah and i do have like a bit of a headache and yeah i went to the er the other day because my headache was so bad and guys they gave me like a migraine cocktail which is like a bunch of different medications, but one of the medications, this is a trauma. I mean, this is a traumatizing ER story. 
So I went to the ER because my head was that bad. And first of all, they told me since my headaches have been going on for so long, um, it's going to be harder to treat them because I didn't come in earlier, which sucks. Okay, this, this is not coming out too cute, but I'll figure it out. Um, figure it out as I go. But they gave me a migraine cocktail. And so one of the medications that they give to people to help with their migraines, which I guess it's not migraines, I guess they're tension headaches. I don't have migraines, I guess I have tension headaches. So which is stress and I need to, the Lord is really working with me and he's helping me in my life with stress and stuff like that. I've always been a stressor and like a worrier ever since I was a little girl. And like my whole entire family has always been aware like I've always been that way. Um, and it's, and this is gonna sound really bad, but like it's worked for my good in a lot of ways only because like that's why I worked so hard in school. That's why I worked so hard in a lot of different things. Like growing up, like I just worked my tail off because that is like the type of person I am. Like, but I get, I don't know how to explain it. So I'm just gonna shut the heck up. But if you get what I'm saying, anyways, I need to slow down. Anyways, um, speaking of slowing down, slow your roll. They gave me a migraine cocktail. And it's like a bunch of medications, but one of the medications the doctor was telling me, she was like, it can make you feel like itchy and crawly and weird. She said, so what we have found that has that helps with that is Benadryl. Mind you, all of this is going in my IV. None of this is orally. This is all going into my veins. This is all going straight into my bloodstream, okay? She was like, are you gonna be okay with us doing a migraine cocktail? I'm like, girl, if it's gonna help, please do. So they put the Benadryl in. I'm not used to, first of all, I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't do anything. And this is when they really knew I didn't. They're like, she hasn't done anything, has she? Like at all. My mom's like, no, she's never done drugs. She's never drank. She's a virgin. Like she, she's. So they put the Benadryl in. Mind you, let me just rewind. So they did an MRI and everything. Everything came back good, but um, like in an MRI you cannot have any metals on anything and I forgot to take my bra off so when the guy nurse came to my room he was like you know blah blah, blah you got your I was like wait a minute and I turned around to my mom because I'm like really anxious around men I don't like men and like I don't know what it is like I I've never experienced like any like weird stuff with a guy like and I want to get that out of the way because when people say they're uncomfortable around men I think a lot of people immediately go to oh you know she's been touched or she's been I've, I've never I never have thank you Jesus that I never have had to deal with that okay um, my mom like really like secluded us from people and like didn't didn't around me didn't allow me around like any men like no and she never even let me spend the night at like many people's houses I was only allowed to spend the night at like two girls houses and one of the girls we had already known for years and her dad was always out of town and the other girl her dad was gone too <laughs> so it was like they didn't even have dads um they did have dads but their dads were always working and, and they lived elsewhere like you get what I'm saying so I was like really nervous around this nurse right already I'm like um so anyway, he exits the room and I take my bra off and he puts me in a wheelchair. I don't know why they wanted me in a wheelchair. There's another thing that I did not like. Like, I'm like, I'm in a really vulnerable state at this point. Like, I have no bra on. Of course, I have my gown on, but I still feel like super vulnerable. Like, I don't like that. Like, I'm just not that type of girl that's just like comfortable around stuff like that. Um, I'm just not. I'm just... First of all, he was one of the best nurses in the world. He was like, hey, use this cover if you want to go ahead and cover yourself up. So he gives me the cover and he literally put the cover on the seat so that I could wrap myself around. Like he is really good. He's good with women. I'll say that. He's really awesome. He's a really awesome guy. And so he gave me the cover and I wrapped myself up, which was first thing that was like, okay, he's pretty awesome. He's not a weirdo. He's not getting weird vibes. He's a younger guy. Um, so we go down to the MRI, blah, blah, blah everything's fine. Another nurse comes to pick me up because I had two nurses. I actually had three that day, but they had to switch shifts, so I had two nurses. When I come back from the MRI, the lady is starting my medication. She's starting the Menadryl and she's starting like the medications, whatever the heck. And we're doing like a bunch of different medications. It's a medication cocktail, so we're doing like all kinds of stuff, right? He comes to my room to do something to like give her like another medication or something like that, but he doesn't leave. And I'm like, why isn't this guy leaving? Like, I need you to leave. And him and my mom are holding combo, and I'm actually mad at my mom at this point. Like, I'm really mad at her because I'm like, Mom, you're just holding this guy in my room for what? Like, I'm getting super mad at my mom. They're talking about, like, shoes and stuff like that because he is, like, a shoe addict and he loves to, like, um, look nice and stuff like that. So they're talking about his shoes, and then they get to talking about my mom's from Chicago, and then they get to talking about, like, all this different stuff, and I'm, like, getting mad. He's talking about, like, you know, when he was in college, girls were setting things on fire. Like, they were setting, like, these plastic bags on fire, and now I'm getting mad. She puts the Benadryl in. Instantly, I feel it. I'm gonna start crying because it was, it was so traumatic. Instantly, I feel super tired, um, which was actually something that this girl made me aware of. She 
was like one of my siblings friends and she was like I'm gonna tell you also another thing that you know your dad lived so long and also looked pretty healthy was that he wasn't injecting the drugs he was snorting it because my dad didn't like needles he wasn't like that type of guy so he he lived a lot longer I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it but now I see what she was saying because if I take Benadryl orally it's not gonna hit me straight away it's gonna take like a minute that hit me straight away straight into the stream she put it in my IV and I'm sitting there like he's like are you okay and I was like, yeah, I'm just really tired. He was like, yeah, it's just the Benadryl. Like, you'll get a really good nap. I'm like, okay. I don't like not being in control of my body. I'm not a drinker. I'm not a drugger. I like to be in control of my body. I'm that type of woman. I'm that type of person that I have to be on my game. Okay, I don't play that. Okay, so I'm feeling tired. I don't like that because I have this meal in my room. I still don't have my um, bra on because the IV, I had this IV in my arm. I can't even bend my arms. So I couldn't put a bra on even if I wanted to. Now I'm feeling really vulnerable because now I'm tired. Like it hit me. And I have this male in my room and my mom won't stop talking to him. But it was the Lord. Because I'll call this dang nurse. I'll call her. What should I call her? Cecily. I'll call her Cecily. Cecily. Cecily is putting the medication in my IV, right? So she's right next to me. The guy's right in front of me. Out of nowhere boom the Benadryl is making me nauseous the room is spinning my heartbeat I can physically feel my heart and I feel like I'm gonna throw up my mom's like are you okay he was like are you okay I'm like no no I'm not okay but I cannot cause a scene even though I feel like I need to because I feel like I'm not on earth I actually feel like I'm going to die literally did I know my heart rate my heart rate went from 100 over 90 to 150 he just didn't say anything because he was just like oh my gosh what is happening oh Cecily is acting like I'm tripping she's acting like I'm doing something wrong like um, it's just Benadryl. Like, there's really nothing wrong. He was like, stop all the medication. Stop all the medication right now. Stop everything that you're doing. Don't put anything more in her. Take that out. So he was going to be the one to actually, like, save me in this situation. He let my bed back, and it was, like, too, too far back, so then he let it back up. And he's watching my heart rate, little did I know, and he's starting to become really concerned. So he told her, like, stop the stuff, because she's not really trying to stop it. And he was like, do you need any like orange juice or apple juice? I was like, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. My mom's got a fan on me. Like, it's bad. Like, it's actually bad. I've never felt like this in my life. My mom was like, what's wrong? I'm like, mom, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to stay calm. She's like, you don't have to be strong. Like, I know this is bad. You don't have to be strong. I'm like, yes, I do. Because I got strangers around me. Um, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like hiding my face at this point. And I, I can't move too much. I don't have a bra on. It's just really bad. So he leaves the room and I'm like, thank God he comes back. He was like, I know you said you don't want any juice, but I just really feel like this is going to help you. So I'm, please just drink it. Even if you just drink half of it, just drink it. And I'm trying to grab it from him. He's not letting me grab it. He puts it directly in my mouth. He said, I just, I don't want it to spill on you. So I start drinking that. I do start to feel a lot better. He says, do you need me to get you a cold towel? I was like, yes, please. And he gets me an ice pack instead. And um, he's like, let's put it on your neck. Let's put it on your neck. So I put it on my neck. He was like, are you feeling better? And I think he knew I was starting to feel better because my heart rate went down. And I was like, yes, I am. He was like, yeah, your heart rate went up a lot. It went up to 150. And that was, my mom was like, what? And you stayed calm over there, didn't you? Oh, okay. All right. When I tell you this dude, he took over and he saved, I feel like he saved my life. But I've never went to the hospital again. I am so freaking traumatized, you guys. I can never go. Um, and I did I was getting irritated. No, I'm just a nice person. And my mom said he knew you didn't want him in there, but I don't know why he kept staying. He just he wanted to keep an eye on me. And um he was gonna be the one that was gonna help me because she acted like she didn't know what to do. And little did I know that was gonna be the case. Because he kind of saved my life that day. I had never felt like that in my life. I physically couldn't breathe like really good. I felt my heart going crazy and he really saved my life. He was like, you guys are like my favorite patients. You guys are awesome. He said also this, he said, we're not gonna give it to her all the way. He said, we're gonna give her, we're gonna give it to her in doses and we're gonna dilute it. So he diluted my medication and he um, gave it to me in increments. And that also helped me from not having it happen again. But he was like, you must be really sensitive to Benadryl. Like, She's never done nothing, has she? Like, type stuff. My mom's like, she's never done anything. My daughter is like a pure girl. Like, she doesn't do this stuff. So that stuff, Benadryl will even get her going wild. I don't know why people want to be drunk all the time. I don't know why people want to be high and, like, drunk. And, like, it doesn't make sense. I have to be in control of my body. Like, I'm, not, I'm like a boss chick. Like, I got to be in control. I have to be aware of what's going on. And if I'm around men, best believe I got to be sober. 
Like, I'm not that type of, yeah, that dude right there, whew, thank the Lord for him. Because I don't know what I would have done that day. Like, it was just not stopping. And he helped with everything. Oh, my body, it was shaking like this. My whole entire body was like this. That was another thing that I could tell he was like, what the heck is going on? He was like, you want me to take the cover off of you? I'm like, no. He was like, okay, I thought you were kicking it off of you, but I was shaking. My body, my legs, I was... That's how fast and that's how much I was shaking. It wasn't a light shake. It was... And I'm trying. I'm like... That's... Girl? Girl? My mom was all over me. I'm praying. I'm praying. Jesus is like, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Trauma. I could not stand the fact that I physically could not stop my body from shaking. I could not stand the fact that I physically literally could not breathe. I could not stand the fact that my heart felt the way it felt. I could not stand the fact that I couldn't stand the fact that I was like the room was spinning. I was nauseous. I was dizzy. I have never in my life felt something like that. Now. 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 Okay, this hairstyle is a lot cuter when you have like a tank top on. Um, but let me go ahead and start, you know, start showing y'all my jewelry. Put my perfume on and we can start heading out. So this is the bottom necklace. You guys already know I've had a pendant just like this. And this is the top necklace. It's a darker, darker gold. They're plated though, you guys. Um, it's really dark. So that's the top. I just layered these two together. Girl, I'm so out of it. I just try to put my engagement ring on my middle finger. Like what is going on? These are my rings for today. Mm -hmm. The emerald ring, my engagement ring. Um, these two rings my grandma gave me, they're both gold. And then for my bracelets, I'm gonna do this gold bracelet. You know what, I don't think I'm gonna do many bracelets today because I was gonna put this one on. This is also one that I recently got. But I'm not gonna put it on, it's just plated you guys, this one's not real. But I don't want to you guys, I just don't want many things on my wrist today, it's one of them days. But I did get a compliment in the ER from the first nurse I had. She was like, your perfume is so beautiful, it is so pretty. Thank you, girl. Okay. Okay. What perfume? What are we about to do? What are we about to do? You know what? I almost forgot about this dang perfume, but since I did my perfume collection, I was like, dude, I'm going to wear this fragrance because, oh my gosh, I'm not going to spray it on my plated jewelry because it can change the color. Um, but, oh my gosh, I forgot about this and I was like, dude, I love this fragrance so much. I miss it. This is gorgeous and it's super affordable. You can get it at TJ Maxx. I always get it at TJ Maxx or, um, I don't think I've ever gotten it at Marshalls, but I always get it at TJ Maxx for like 30 to 40 bucks. Now with inflation, it's like 40, but it used to be 30. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do Coco Noir. Coco Noir. All right. Fragrances of the day. Wait, girl. I think this is the package of my dreams. Hold on, guys. One of you guys emailed me, is this it? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, one of you guys emailed me the other day and was like, girl, I'm not sure if you know or not, but they came out with 34 ounce, 34 fluid ounce baby washes. So I got the fragrance free one. They have them on Amazon. I'm gonna put them on my Amazon storefront. Oh my gosh, I got the fragrance free one just because I've been like extra sensitive lately. I don't know why. Not saying the other one irritates me. I've been using it daily, but I don't know. I just got this one. Guys, they came out with 34 fluid ounce baby washes. The baby dove. Y'all know I love baby dove. So I got a literal 34 fluid ounce. It's like the big dove body wash type of bottles. Girl, I'm not running out ever. I'm in me mom's car. Vroom, vroom. That's bad. <laughs> Okay, so we're in my mom's brand new car. This thing is so dope, you guys. Look, look how pretty it is in here. Gorgeous, brand freaking new. Airbags all around. She just had to throw that in there. Airbags all around. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I feel like what's gonna help me feel a lot better is if we get food. So we're gonna head to Steak and Shake and we're gonna go ahead and get some food before we head to Walmart. I'm starting to feel a lot better. I think staying in the house was making me even more annoyed. I was telling them how last night I had like a bunch of bad dreams. I didn't tell you this, but Oh, no. Terrible dreams all night, so I woke up like super moody and it like was trying to like control my morning. And I even told them about my ER trauma story. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh my gosh, my poor dad. And I was telling them how at first I was like upset with you about like, you know, talking to the guy and being so nice that I wanted him out of my room. But it actually was the Lord because yep. he was going to be the one that was really going to help yep. me. 
Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna head to Walmart. We're gonna make today a better day, so. You gotta eat. Yes. You're angry. Mm -hmm. So that means when I get home, I don't have to immediately start cooking. I'm gonna go to Walmart and grab some ingredients because I wanna make my famous chicken tacos. Remember them ones I made? Yeah. With the avocado and stuff. Sounds good to me. So I'm gonna make um, chicken tacos and that'll be a little bit later though because we're gonna go ahead and get some food. And my favorite restaurant, Steak and Shake. Woohoo! I love how spacious this dang vehicle is. Man, I love it. I feel free to do everything. I know. See, you feel good in here, don't you? This is so awesome. Yeah, girl. How dope. Okay, so food, here we come. Just like that, we are full and ready to go. And I got a little bit more caffeine from the Coke. <laughs> Dang, you got a dashboard, don't you? Yeah, girl. Oh my gosh, mom. This I is love awesome. It. Okay, so we're gonna stay as a group in Walmart because people are weird in Walmart. They beat them people up in Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're gonna stay as a group, so I wanna go grab some hair products first. I wanna go see what kind of like different gels and stuff they have. Okay. Um, and then why am I being bleached out to Walmart super center? So yeah, I just want to go look at like some hair care and then we can start doing like grocery shopping and stuff Let's get it. Grocery shopping is boring Ugh, I don't it's want necessary. to do it. Oh, yeah cases of water. Oh, yeah, we gotta get tons of water tons of water uh -huh. Well, this I love that we have recycling now so we can just like recycle the plastic water bottles But y'all know um, I always like drink tap water, but my brother and my mom they do turn up the AC Oh, there it is. I don't know how to control this car. They do water bottles, so it. Uh, so now I'm adjusted to my purified water. I can't do spring water, so comment down below which one you do. Do you do purified or spring? I'm a purified girl. Um, we all like purified. And one time Jordan brought spring water and I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> I was so mad, but what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, now my taste buds are adjusted to having purified water. I can't do that. I can't do tap. Only, only way I can do tap is if I put like a liquid IV in it. So this morning, I wasn't feeling the best, so Jordan got me a mason jar of liquid IV water, so. Anyways, let me shut up. Let's get to Walmart. You gotta get your hydration on, how you can get your hydration on. That's what exactly. I know, but you gotta be hydrated. Exactly. Stop, because this freaking Walmart is awesome. First of all, they have my Ra Ra Rouge on, Ra Ra Rouge on sale. That's like originally like 35 bucks, and they have it for like 27.99, and then, People always tell me that this is one of the best baby powder fragrances in the world and they have three so I'm buying all of them because they said it was discontinued so I could find it on like certain websites but they must be bringing it back so I'm buying all of those. They're like 14 something but I don't care because y'all know I love baby powder. That would be crazy if they don't really smell good but if they do then I'm gonna be mad I didn't buy them all so I'm just gonna buy them all. That's me, you know? You know? It looks like I'm going a little bit of like fragrance shopping. Oh my gosh. I want to try this Reebok. It's only $8.92. So I'm going to get this Reebok Cool Your Body. Mom, they have this. People always tell me that it's like one of the best baby powder fragrances. And they have three, so I'm getting them all. What is it? Um, It's like a baby powder perfume. And then I'm getting my Ra Ra Rouge because they have it on sale. And they have these Reeboks. I'm going fragrance shopping. Okay, so I wonder if this little baby is um, it doesn't matter. They're all mines. No, I'm taking it. You ain't give me one. If you want one, yes, you What's can have one. You? If you have. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh, it doesn't matter. They're all mine. Because you don't even like baby powder. I do like baby powder. Well, it's so girl habit because okay. I'm getting it for you. Tomorrow, it's all for me. I, I, my feelings was hurt for a minute. I was like, wait a minute, let me stop. Because that. first of all, you don't even like baby powder. You always say, girl, that, yeah, that's your kind of scent. Yeah, well, okay, all right. Okay, well, okay. she want one too. Okay, so she's gonna have one. So perfect, you guys. I'm not a hoarder. I'm only getting two. <laughs> But even if I can buy what I want. What you getting? I'm gonna try out these Reeboks because they're only $8.92 and they have like the deodorant body spray that comes with it. Okay. Or maybe I shouldn't get this one. I should just get the box because it's $7.87. So I'll put this one back because I really don't really care for the deodorant body spray. Or do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I'll just get it. Body spray? I mean, you might want to double it up. If it smells good and you double it up, that's layering. If it's it smells good. good, then hey. So just try it. They have Cher fragrances. That lady Cher. That lady share? I don't know who the heck that's she is. So funny. <laughs> Dolly Parton. Is that Dolly Parton? Yep, that's Dolly Parton. Okay. Yeah. They have these. Yes, I am. Oh, you can actually scratch and sniff these. Hold on, Mom. Can you record me? Yeah. This is fun. I don't smell nothing. Scratch again. No. Nothing? Not really. And if so, it's not really bold enough to be like, I gotta have that. 
Smell like coffee in the morning. Okay. okay, so I found the textured hair care and I see two gels. They have a Shea Moisture one, but this one's more affordable. So I want to try this one. It is um, Jamaican Mango and Lime Island Oil Easy and Carefree Styling Gel. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one as well because when I do this hairstyle, I mean, we'll see if I continue to do it. Smooth edges. Yeah, we're going to try this. Let me see. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Smell that. Oh yeah, Mom, baby. we're getting that. That's what's up and I can smell the oils in it. Girl, yes, that smells so good. All right, Stop cool. kidding little mini hygiene shopping okay i might as well grab another cantu oh, one too? yeah i've been using this one as of right. lately so i guess i'll yeah i guess i'll get another one of those this brush looks like it is top tier mom doesn't this look amazing it's only four dollars and something it's like a knockoff denman oh it is and it's only four dollars and something wait a minute mom wait a minute yeah that's that's pretty nice that is really nice that's really nice i like that i'm gonna get that oh, oops i'm dropping my bag Hey, my phone then too, buddy. Put it in my mom's purse. Yeah, I need a new Denman bro. Jordan's like the clutch guy that takes care of all the extra stuff and then we just kind of like chill and vibe. <laughs> I hate this hairstyle today. It is cute with tank tops. Certain hairstyles go with certain clothes. It's also cute with lashes. I'm not feeling it. I don't know. No. Quick haul though, because I, I bought the dogs a couple things. Let me show them up. I got the dogs a couple things. I got them these beef hides and then I got them this hip and joint stuff because cockapoos are, uh, I'm going to give it to Essence too, but cockapoos are prone to like joint issues. My brother told me when he was doing research on it, he is obsessed with Lockett, so he researches stuff. Um, and then I got the girls some dresses, so they're going to have some dresses on today because those are so cute. Um, and then I'm going to give them this food. It's fresh pet. You can slice it and serve it. I'm going to mix it in with their... Um, their dry food i used to make locket's food but then her belly started to get like her belly didn't like it like it did not agree with her and so her vet was like you can just put it right back on the regular food so i'm gonna try these though and mix it in with their dry food and see what happens and then we're just getting a bunch of like random stuff cascade i'm gonna get some food fish we're gonna get water and we're gonna get started on the true grocery shopping right yeah? uh oh we ain't got much space Go ahead, Jeff. what are we gonna do mama on top of that we'll make it work don't worry i do it all the time i know you do all right, that's good. Looking like the doctor he doesn't out here. All right. <laughs> they don't have like the name brand sriracha, but they have this Sky Valley sriracha and they have Tabasco sriracha. So like, I don't know which one to try. Um, which one should I get, Jordan? They have the Tabasco sriracha and they have Sky Valley sriracha. I feel like that one's gonna taste better, but this one's cheaper. I'm about a cheaper one. Yeah, you might as well do that. Okay. I love Southwest Chipotle seasoning. Me too. Oh my gosh, delicious. Yes. I'm gonna put that in the tacos. Why are you getting me on there? <laughs> Man, my phone won't come out of my back pocket. <laughs> you guys remember when I said the Juicy Couture fragrance was on sale for what, $27.99? It was $9.99 and the Reebok boxes were $3.19. What? $3.19. I'm shook. I should've got some. I'm shook. <laughs> Sorry about that. I really didn't know I was gonna come up like that. I was like, whoa. You got me all in my head right now. Hey, girl, we got home right on time because now it is pouring rain. Oh my gosh, girl, what the heck? Okay, like I said, as this hairstyle dries, it is getting cuter. Anyways, I can still use these gels though. Even if I decide not to do this hairstyle, I can still use these gels to slick down my hair and to just scrunch a little bit up in my curls. But I wanted to see like how I like this hairstyle because I really liked it last time, but I think it's only for like tank tops. Like I said, it's super cute. I took off one of my necklaces because it's kind of ugly with this shirt and I changed my clothes because I'm super hot. So anyways, I'm sitting down because I want to go ahead. Dang! Also, I ran into a subby at Walmart. Shout out to her. She was super sweet and super pretty, like really gorgeous. Um, but anyways, yeah, like I told y'all, these Reebok boxes came up to $3.19. So we're going to go ahead and smell them, and I'm going to let you guys know if they're worth it or not. And then, I already know what Ra Ra Rouge smells like. Girl, out of this world. I get too many compliments on that dang fragrance. But first things first, I want to go ahead and smell one of these baby soft. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I want to go ahead and smell one of these Love's Baby Soft Whisper Soft Mist because you guys always tell me about this. I just haven't been able to find it. And the one that I seen on Amazon, there were reviews saying that it wasn't the real stuff. Why is there hair on me? Ew, grossity. So if this smells great, I'm so happy I got two because yes. And my mom said it smells good. She said they used to wear it back in her day. So hey, 
Let's see. Oh, it's gonna break my nail. I'm super excited. Y'all know I love fragrance. If you guys wanna see every single last one of my perfume oils and perfumes, watch my recent video because I shared with y'all all of my fragrances. What? It says the top notes are lemon, leaf, and orange. Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Rose, Muget, Jasmine Rose, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Powdery, Creamy, M What's going on? I should have read that before I bought it. A lighter version of Love's Baby Soft. Spritz generously and surround yourself in whisper soft, delicate florals and sheer must to feel powder fresh all over. I don't really know the notes of baby powder. So that probably, that probably is the notes of baby powder. Gosh, it is pouring. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's... Oh my gosh, you guys, stop. Stop. That is so pretty. That is like the best baby powder fragrance in the world. That is the best baby powder fragrance I have ever smelled in my life. To my girls that like suggested this to me, I haven't been able to find it, but I just found it. And I just want to go ahead and say thank you because if it wasn't for y'all, I would have never bought this. Stop playing. That is gorge. That is good. It's giving super clean. I am so happy I bought two. I only had three left, so I got all the three. My mama got one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I got the Baby Soft, which smells like baby powder. It's a beautiful baby powder. It's not like a sickety baby powder. There are some baby powder fragrances. You know what it smells like? Like Johnson's. Johnson Johnson's. The um, Johnson Johnson's lotion, the pink one. That's exactly what it smells like, and I have not found anything that is a spray version of that smell. You can't come across that smell like that. Okay, so we got Ra Ra Rouge, Baby Soft. Now let's spray this Reebok Cool Your Body. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, that smells good. But I love um, Walmart because there are just certain products you cannot find nowhere but Walmart. And I loved the selection of fragrances and products they have there. Like I'm literally going to have to do like a hygiene shopping video again. I don't really do those anymore, but with the amount of products I've seen there, stop, stop. I'm going to have to. Hold on, because it's not like a strong fragrance. So like you smell alcohol first. That's how you know it's not going to last too long if all you smell first is alcohol. Okay, that's beautiful. It's fruity and it's pretty and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, for $3? Oh my gosh! Stop! Stop. Stop. It is such a fruity, like pretty, fresh fragrance. Stop. Three dollars. I got blessed today. I got blessed today. The Lord knew. The Lord knew. The devil tried to get me in my sleep. He's blessing me. The Lord is blessing me. It is hot up in here, you guys. Okay. This is called Move Your Spirit. I don't think I really read it. I mean, move your spirit out of darkness. Amen. Amen. Let's try. What should I spray? I'm gonna spray this on my knee. Cause you can't like spray a bunch of fragrances and like expect to like get the accurate, the accuracy you want. Stop. That smells like pink chiffon by Bath and Body Works. That smells like pink chiffon by Bath and Body Works. That's pink chiffon. That is pink chiffon. If you like the sweet pink chiffon by Bath and Body Works and you see this move your spirit at um Walmart get it because it smells just like pink chiffon so your girl got blessed with a bunch of new fragrances for so cheap the only one that was full price was the baby soft and girl I don't blame them for not putting that on sale because girl because girl um that just made me excited I'm getting ready to go downstairs and start cooking once my mom gets done putting out um putting away the groceries and I don't care. If anybody has anything to say about, you have too many fragrances, what is too many? To you? It's too many for you. Admit it. It's too much for you, not for me. Mm. At least my hair is super healthy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> you got some new tools, don't you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. I like this on my chicken tacos, so I got this guacamole salsa. Um, and then just like a little random meal. I got some other little random meals too, but I'm gonna try this one out. What is this? Boneless fried chicken. When I get hungry, I just need like random warm up meals. So I'll keep this out for the tacos, this out for the tacos. There's cheese I'll put in the fridge. I had cheese in my room. What? <laughs> he was carrying that cheese. You want to play about that cheese? <laughs> Y'all are working as a team down here. 
trying too. <laughs> he might make the dream work. I ain't doing nothing. Here's a clear one. I give us some of this one. Oh, whatever one you can give me, because this one's tiny. Well, it's gonna be better to do it on this because the wood one is porous. Exactly, you're right. Okay. I'm gonna sit down and start cutting chicken, y'all. It's easy that way. Okay, this is ugly officially. I hate it. Officially. I'm just gonna use those gels for like your head. for like scrunching my curls. Or um, if I wanna do this hairstyle, it's gotta be like with the summer outfit. It's gotta be, it has to go with the outfit. But it's gotta be for scrunching my curls or slicking my hair. It's all in your head. You know, back which be like, oh, really I really might. Cute. No, I look like Albert Einstein. No. Which what? Um. Yeah, no, no. Which what was I gonna say? The mango and lime. Let's turn some lights on. The mango and lime one smells good, so it doesn't even matter. I'm gonna want to use that in my hair, like at the top of my hair, anyway, for my scalp, because it's gonna smell amazing. This is to do the counter. Oh, I'm messing in my ears. I just washed my hands. I'm sorry for itching my ears. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna touch the chicken. Ah. What was That's that? That's to buff the counters. That's to buff the counters. Mm -hmm. Mom. Just for these counters. Yeah. You got some tools, don't you? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm working on it. So my mom's mainly responsible for cleaning the house. So she's trying to make it fun. And cooking. And cooking, yes, exactly. Exactly. What? Nothing. Yeah, my mom's the homemaker. Like I always do, yes. Yeah, exactly. I don't like this knife. All right, what knife do you want? Mom, I want to go to one of those restaurants where like you have to cook your own food. Okay, yeah, that's... <laughs> she was like... No, it's not like cook your own food. They give you the meat and you just put it on the grill in front of you? Yeah. It sounds fun. It is. It'd be like an experiment. Hey, I want to do it too. Jordan, can you give me some water? I'm thirsty. Cold. Huh? It's cold. If you want to give it to me ice cold, I'll take it, brother. I want it ice cold. Is it? Are you allowed to have two liquid IVs a day? Because I know you can't surpass that. You know... They say all kind of stuff, so you know who knows. If I feel like I need to have it, I will do it. Right. I feel like I need it. Yeah. If I, I feel like I'm behind in my water, I I'm feel dehydrated. Like, we need to go get like actual IV. Well, I just got one at the ER. I know. An actual IV. I'm never getting. No, I'm scarred. I'm never getting pricked again. Scared. For some reason, when I was going to get it done for Accutane, it just wasn't as bad. Yeah. Some people. Okay. Here's the thing. Some people are good at it, and some people are not. Yeah, I didn't like the way she did Some it. Some people are good. You don't even know you got posts. Yeah, I've had that. Yeah. I've had a lady that did it really good one time, yeah. and the other time she did terrible. Yeah. Like, I actually felt the needle come out and in. I couldn't even bend my arm. She's like, I think I did it well enough to where you can bend your arm. Girl, yeah. no. I, I couldn't even do my own hair. My mom had to do it. I hated every second of it. I know that, but I had to make sure you're okay. They drugged me. You need to stop. They did. And then they gave me a turkey sandwich. My teeth were... Oh, hurting. Yeah, this is perfectly green and, and fresh. And then she was, she, she told me it was frozen. They gave me a frozen turkey sandwich with ice all in it. It hurt my teeth so bad, but I was so hungry and nauseous. I didn't even care. But it literally hurt my teeth so bad. I usually um tenderize the chicken first, but oh well, I forgot. Um, tenderize it first. We use like a tenderizing hammer. I tenderize it. I flatten it up real good, and then I cut it up into little pieces. So right now I'm just like cutting up the chicken into like. Smaller pieces because I like it to be smaller. I'm trying to get this done before Brand gets home from work because every single day he gets home from work, he makes himself some food. If you guys are wondering sometimes, like if I make food and I'm not like making like a bunch of plates or bowls, it's because Brand makes his own food. He's like his own nutritionist because he's a boxer. So he studies what he's supposed to eat and he sticks to it. He doesn't eat really what we cook. He tries not to eat. Yeah, he tries not to what eat. What I cook. Yeah. Don't say you because he eats my food too. He eats your food too. Um, excuse you, yeah. Yeah, he do. This picture of food is good. Yeah, I know. And he tried not to eat our food, but it's so tempting. Yeah. It's pretty sad for him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I just remembered, they didn't have any avocado. All of their avocado was way too, like, hard, so it wasn't ripe yet. And then the other ones were straight up mush. It was already pre guacamole So, there was no way I could put avocados on these dang chicken tacos, which is so annoying because... That was annoying. That was ugly. Which is so annoying because avocado on these chicken tacos is so good. <gasps> Look how cute that baby is with her dress. And that baby so cute. Ooh, girl, that baby so cute. Her dress. Look at that baby her dress. Essence. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at that baby in her dress. Look like Easter Sunday. Look at that baby with that baby in her dress. Yeah, I'm not 
for y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're gonna love that food. All right, girl, I got my chicken all diced up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding a bunch of different seasonings. So first I got some cayenne pepper. I like for the chicken to have some color. That's why I add like red powders and stuff like the cayenne pepper and the chili powder. It adds a little bit of spice too. My mama taught me to season stuff in the bowl and it's easier that way. Carne asada seasoning. I like this because it has a little bit of a lime. Oh, hold on. That cayenne pepper hurt my nose. Hold on. Yeah, be careful. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, they get you. Hold on, mom. Crushed red pepper. This is going to be spicy. Chipotle Southwest seasoning. It's that good stuff. Oh, my nose. Oh, my gosh, mom. Onion powder. I love onion powder. It's my favorite seasoning. That and Southwest Chipotle. Yep, those are the good ones there. Oh yeah. Garlic powder. I'm gonna use Brant's uh, ranch seasoning. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of this taco seasoning. Y'all gonna see what I do with the rest of it. Olive oil. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that all around and start cooking it to a little bit of a crisp. some vegetable oil to this pan and let's put on that heat all right and i'm gonna start cooking up this chicken and then i'm gonna start making the sauce that i put on the tacos y'all see all that color mm -hmm. all right girl let's make the sauce that i like to put on these chicken tacos and then of course last i'll go ahead and like make the shells and stuff like that I'll show you guys how I do that because I put cheese on them too and melt it. So, of course, the base is sour cream. And we're going to need a lot of sauce. So we're going to put a lot of sour cream in there. Like I said, I usually like to put avocado on these tacos, but didn't have any good avocado. So, whose pop was that? Your pop? Oh, no. Was that my pop? I got diet cherry. I got, oh, no. You want a can of Canada dry rice? Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, there you go. It doesn't have caffeine, right? No. Because I probably shouldn't have been drinking that. Okay, now I'm going to put all this taco seasoning, y'all. The rest of that taco seasoning. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and mix that around. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead. Actually, it's a lot easier when I put lime. We're going to add a lime in here. And if it needs more, I'll add the other lime. I like it to be super limey. Lemon is actually better, though. I will say lemon is better with this sauce. So I don't know why I bought lime. I probably should have warmed this up. Let me warm this dang lime up. Oh, Lord! Be careful. Be careful. I am. Be careful. Ma. Lime juice. And then I'll just let this sit in the refrigerator for the remaining time that that chicken's cooking. But just put a good amount of lime in there. Oh my gosh, it is burning. Ah! All right, let's try now. It's been about two seconds. Ooh, much better. And you can put the pulp in there. All right, I'll be back. Okay. See you in a minute. I think I'm definitely gonna need both limes. So I'm gonna put that other one in there for not that long, but we can start mixing it. Yeah, definitely more lime. I'm glad I bought two. This is such a good sauce, you guys. I like to add taco sauce to it. So let me see if we have any more. All right, yeah, I'm gonna add some taco sauce. Let me turn some more lights on. I need more light then. The girls look so cute in their dresses. They're definitely not as cute as I thought they were gonna be because they hang pretty low. And I love the fitted clothes on them, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, that line made it a lot easier because it makes the sauce more liquidy, which is also easier to put on the tacos. What the heck was that? Clean up as you go. I'm putting stuff away as I go so that when it's time to eat, it's time to eat. Hey, when it's time to eat, it's time to eat. Hey, when it's time to eat, it's time to eat. All right. Let's put that lit lime juice in there. I know I have a lime squeezer somewhere, so why have I been doing this by hand? Here it is. What have I been doing? This is a lemon one though, so it's probably not the best way to go. 
Oh, it worked. What have I been doing? What the heck have I been doing? What in the world? Chloe. Oh, I just wasted lime juice. I'll pour that right back in. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. Look at it. Hey, look at it. Hey, look at it. Oh, whoa, whoa. It needs something. Okay, so that needs more lime, but I'm not gonna lie, lemon would actually be better. So I'm gonna actually go grab one of my mom's lemons. She's gonna be mad at me, but hey. I'm taking one of your lemons. I'm really sorry, mom, but it needs it. I promise you'll be grateful for the sauce. I think I usually use lemon anyway. I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, onion powder and then chipotle, Southwest chipotle. So let me do that. All right, Southwest Chipotle, I'm gonna add that. And some onion powder. It needs it. This sauce gotta be good. I'm not gonna play the game. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Mmm-hmm. Stop playing. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna add some accent. I just go with the flow, y'all. I just go with the flow. Whatever I feel like it needs. Oh my gosh. That is the best kind I have made so freaking far. That is perfect. Oh my gosh, my family's gonna love this. It's the next day and I literally just got done eating it on my rice. It is a literal sauce for everything. It is so good. It would be good on vegetables. It would be good on rice, chicken. Girl, that sauce is out of this world. And it's my homemade sauce. That ain't nobody else risk to be this mean. Accent is supposed to like wake up all flavors. And that literally just woke up every single seasoning and every single flavor that's supposed to be in there it woke it up it just woke everything up so yeah there won't be like as much cleaning content because my mom takes care of that she takes care of like majority of the cleaning which girl i'm mad at it i'm gonna enjoy these years and i'm with her because girl i might as well enjoy it while i'm young because one day i ain't gonna have no choice but to be cleaning all the time especially if one day i decide to you know build a family or something like that you ain't got no choice but to be cleaning and i would regret not enjoying these years <laughs> I did not know the back of my hair looked like that. That is terrible. For some reason, the back of my hair is always like the worst because it's like I, I focus on these parts so much and then I just neglect the back of my hair. Oh my gosh, I need to work on that. What the frick is that? All right, I rinsed them off. I need to get a sharper knife, but oh well. Let me get a bowl for these tomatoes. No problem. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this tomato for now because I don't like soggy tomatoes and I think that's enough for the tacos that we're getting ready to eat. If not, I'm just gonna cut up the other one. But I don't want that just sitting out for a while because the longer they sit out, the nastier they taste. So that should be enough for the tacos I'm gonna make. And then when we have our second serving, then I'll cut up the second tomato. Okay, I'm still waiting for that chicken to crisp because I want it to be crispy before I even start making the shells because I like the shells to be fresh, of course. I'm gonna try this Tabasco sauce. I mean this um, Tabasco Sriracha. I guess I'll just lick this thing. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Stop. That is so good. I'm glad I got this one. This freaking Tabasco sauce is so good. Guys. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is top tier. Freak this hairstyle. And then this side's always more curly. I don't know. I think it makes me look like a boy. Ooh, it's getting there. Hold on. Yeah. You getting there. You getting somewhere. Okay, so I only do a tiny bit of vegetable oil because I don't really need too much. But Oh, that's way too much. And I'm going to put these yellow corn tortillas down. I'll make Jordan's plate first. Three is about good. I like sharp cheddar, y'all. You can do whatever cheese you want to do. I like sharp cheddar. So I'm going to add that cheese on now. And I'm going to let that melt. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Right on time, you getting that. Okay, so I burnt the heck out of my finger, you guys. 
so you guys missed me getting the shells off but what i do is <coughs> i get the shells pretty crispy and i have the cheese melt on them and then i put the chicken directly on them while they're in the pan scoop them off and then we're able to put whatever the heck we want to put on them okay let's get this nail put on it i literally could i literally moved my skin and it was able to move off how did you burn yourself well i did something and i don't know We got the nail spawn on. I'm going to start putting his toppings on and then he'll be able to eat. And then my mom, she's not ready to eat, but I'm just going to make my mom singing, but I'm just going to make her plate and just let it sit out. Burn my finger. What? what? Oh, well. Okay. Shut up. You were not even here. Nobody was. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, well, what is that it? Yeah, it's pretty bad. What? What'd you put on it? Um, nail spawn. No, I need to spray some burn spray on it. No. Yes, I have stuff for that. I have burn spray for that. Do you want some of this um, guacamole salsa, Jordan? Yeah, so. Okay. Gosh, I'm mad at myself for even freaking doing it. All right. All righty. And then there's no avocado, Jordan, so it'll just be tomatoes. You're welcome. I don't want to take it off. It doesn't matter. I have to do what I have to do. I'm going to get my equipment. Oh, great. Yeah. So I'm just going to make your shells with the chicken on it, and then you can put your toppings on later. Okay, listen. I can take that off and put a gauze right here and just wrap it with the flexible stuff. Just give me a second. Okay, let me go get the flexible stuff. <laughs> my mom put lidocaine burn spray on it, and then she put aquaphor. But now she's gonna rewrap it because I can't really move my finger. But I don't even think it's the band aid that ma that's making it hard. I think it's just how badly burned it is. I can't really like move my finger because it's really badly burned. Like it's bubbling up. Ugh. All right, I already made my mom's plate. Now I'm making mine's, and then I'll be able to eat. And then, oh my gosh, I don't even know what else because my freaking finger is freaking injured but it's easier if you put the oil on and then you let it heat up a little bit and then drop the tortillas i was doing it kind of wrong i haven't cooked in a while that's good i'm gonna make mine i think i made a little bit too much sauce but oh well i had to use one of your lemons i'm sorry okay Ugh, I just need the pain to go away. It's making me feel like crap. What? Do you have any Neosporin plus plant pain? Um, I think I might have one. I don't know, Mom. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You sure you don't want to eat? Mom, it's so good. I'm literally still full from that burger. Mom. And those fries. I had a large fry. This is out of this world. It looks amazing. It is amazing. It looks and that, amazing. And that homemade it sauce. Looks, look at that. It's lemony and it's limey. It's so beautiful. Look at, and look at the colors. When I tell you that's beautiful, mm. you get a picture of it. Okay. I'm going to sit under my bed and start eating my food. <sighs> my finger, you guys. It's like it progressively, like the pain progressively got worse. So it's pretty sucky. It's blistering up. Well, it is blistered up. And I'm pretty upset about it. Because, like, you know when you just feel like if you could just reverse time, but you can't. So it's like, why even get upset about it? But, you know, like, you're mad at yourself for even doing something stupid. I think I went to go grab, like, a piece of chicken and I burnt myself, so. I think I recorded it, but I'm way too embarrassed to show it. Ooh. Charlie bit me. Update on my burn. It's the next day and it is a really big blister. The blister got really big. And today, yesterday it was white. Today it is, like, brown. It's, it's pretty darn bad. But I'm just praying, like, Lord Jesus, please let it heal fast. Anyways, you guys, these are my favorite tacos in the world. The best tacos in the world. You have to try them. So I'm a taco person, but I'm very picky with my tacos. Not all tacos are good. These are my favorite tacos by far. Like, and I've made a lot of different tacos, but these are my favorite. And they're like, from scratch, they're so good. Mmm. When I hurt myself, Jordan gets upset. So I can tell he's upset. But he's putting together my shoe armoire that I used for my clothes in my last vlog. If you guys know, I bought that armoire thing for my clothes and I put away clothes. Well, I'm going to use this one for hygiene products because I still have two more large boxes 
of hygiene products they need to go away and then after that i think i only have like two more boxes to unpack and i'm done so we're basically literally almost unpacking like we literally have like barely anything left corn tortillas are my favorite they're just top tier I need to go ahead and restock this period drawer so that when my period comes, I already have everything in order. I go through more pads than tampons, so I'm going to stock it up with basically all pads and then just like a couple tampons. All right, let me go grab them tampons because I totally forgot to grab them. All right, that's a good amount. Oops. I'm going to do some regulars, some supers, and some super pluses. All right. I love how convenient this drawer is. This is so dumb, you guys. I planned on vacuuming my stairs and then straightening up the laundry room because it's pretty dusty but i'm gonna have to wait until this finger feels better because i cannot hold that vacuum right now like in my hand like i literally cannot get a grip on that that's so annoying i'm trying to be positive i'm really trying but it is so irritating right now i'm gonna read some psalms like i told you guys i was gonna do but i really need to do it right now it is perfect timing because you guys i need some scripture because i am pretty darn upset about this finger because it's starting to hurt like worse and worse and worse. And the aquaphor is dripping out. Y'all remember when I was cooking on camera, it was a get ready with me for like a lash appointment and I cooked after my lash appointment and I cut my finger so bad. First of all, I had never seen that much blood in my life and it splattered in random areas. If you guys watched that video, you guys knew I was super upset about my dang finger. I was like, you guys, I'm trying to be positive. So I'm gonna turn off the camera because I'm a little bit like on edge. <coughs> whoa <clears throat> so after i get done reading these scriptures i hope i feel better but realistically i know that i'm not going to want to film much longer because when you're seriously in pain like this like i burned it really good at first when i burned myself like the adrenaline was still there so i was like okay i, I got this like mm. but now it's like it feels like somebody's like sawing into my into my skin okay so i have some scripture that i have written down but i wrote this down personally because i wanted to share with you guys like what psalms is good for so I have this written down. Psalms is beautiful for when you're standing in need and you may be sad or angry, but you still want to honor God. David was going through it because David was the one that wrote the Psalms. David was going through it and you can read that he is seriously in need of victory, but he glorified and honored God with his words. Psalms is also great when you feel your enemies have the upper hand and you need to stay strong and trust that you will soon have the victory and the true upper hand. I actually haven't completely finished Psalms, but I know that in the end of Psalms, he gave a lot of praise and a lot of thanks because David won a lot of battles with trusting God. Let me go grab my water. Jesus uses hard times to show his love for you and build your faith. As long as you continue to trust Jesus through the hard times, you will grow spiritually. Jesus wants to see how you will act in this trial to see what he can trust and bless you with. So that's what I wrote down yesterday. I had like beautiful time on my patio. I was just sitting on my patio, just reading my Bible, listening to Christian music. It was a, it was amazing. Um, so I want to go ahead and share scriptures that I have written down. Psalms 6, 8 through 10. Go, leave me now, you men of evil deeds. For the Lord has heard my weeping and my pleading. He will answer all my prayers. All my enemies shall be suddenly dishonored, terror stricken and disgraced. God will turn them back in shame. Psalms 9. O oh Lord, I will praise you with all my heart and tell everyone about the marvelous things you do. I will be glad, yes, filled with joy because of you. I will sing your praises, O oh Lord God, above all gods. My enemies will fall back and perish in your presence. You have vindicated me. You have endorsed my work, declaring from your throne that it is good. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked, blotting out their names forever and ever. O oh, enemies of mine, you are doomed forever. The Lord will destroy your cities. Even the memory of them will disappear. But the Lord lives on forever. He sits upon his throne to judge justly the nations of the world. All who are oppressed may come to him. He is a refuge for them in their times of trouble. All those who know your mercy, Lord, will count on you for help. For you have never yet forsaken those who trust in you. Oh, sing out your praises to the God who lives in Jerusalem. Tell the world about his unforgettable deeds. 
He who avenges murder has an open ear to those who cry to him for justice. He does not ignore the prayers of men in trouble when they call to him for help. And now, O Lord, have mercy on me. See how I suffer at the hands of those who hate me. Lord, snatch me back from the jaws of death. Save me so that I can praise you publicly before all the people at Jerusalem's gates and rejoice that you have rescued me. The nations fall into the pitfalls they have dug for others. The trap they set has snapped on them. The Lord is famous for the way he punishes the wicked in their own snares. The wicked shall be sent away to hell. This is the fate of all the nations forgetting the Lord. For the needs of the needy shall not be ignored forever. The hopes of the poor shall not, be always, cr shall not always be crushed. O Lord, arise and judge and punish the nations. Don't let them defy you. Make them tremble and fear. Put the nations in their place until at last they know they are but puny men. With how many highlights I have all the way to the end, it looks like I have finished Psalms. I knew I did. I was like, I've finished Psalms. But anyways, I had flipped ahead to some highlights I had. So I highlighted Psalm 71, 5 through 8, and I have it on page 341 right here. So Psalm 71, 5 through 8, where's that at? Oh Lord, you alone are my hope. I've trusted you from childhood. Yes, you have been with me from birth and have helped me constantly. No wonder I am always praising you. My success, at which so many stand amazed, is because you are my mighty protector. All day long, I'll praise and honor you, O oh God, for all that you have done for me. Got to give the credit to Christ Jesus. Psalm 71, 14 through 16. I will keep on expecting you to help me. I praise you more and more. I cannot count the times when you have faithfully rescued me from danger. I will tell everyone how good you are and of your constant daily care. I walk in the strength of the Lord God. I tell everyone that you alone are just and good. Brag on Jesus. Okay. Psalms 37, 12 through 15. The Lord is laughing at those who plot against the godly, for he knows their judgment day is coming. Evil men take aim to slay the poor, but they are ready to butcher those who do right. But their swords will be plunged into their own hearts, and all their weapons will be broken. No weapon formed against Jesus' children shall prosper. No weapon formed against us will prosper in Jesus name. And last but not least, I have Psalms 96 that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. Yeah, I definitely finished Psalms because I'm all the way at the end with highlights. Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing it everywhere around the world. Sing out his praises. Bless his name. Each day, tell someone that he saves. Publish his glorious acts throughout the earth. Tell everyone about the amazing things he does. For the Lord is great beyond description and greatly to be praised. Worship only him among the gods. For the gods of other nations are merely idols. But our God made the heavens. Honor and majesty surround him. Strength and beauty are in his temple. O nations of the world, confess that God alone is glorious and strong. Wrong. Give him the glory he deserves. Bring your suffering and come to worship him. Worship the Lord with the beauty of holy lives. Let the earth tremble before him. Tell the nations that Jehovah reigns. He rules the world. His power can never be overthrown. He will judge all nations fairly. Let the heavens be glad. The earth rejoice. Let the vastness of the roaring seas demonstrate his glory. Praise him for the growing fields, for they display his greatness. Let the trees of the forest rustle with, pra with praise. For the Lord is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the nations fairly and with truth. My favorite parts First of all, all of that is amazing. It's so powerful. Oh my gosh. But I love how he says, um, For the Lord is great beyond description and greatly to be praised. Worship only him among the gods. For the gods of other nations are merely idols. And I also love how he says, Worship the Lord with the beauty of holy lives. I love that. I love Psalms, you guys. I'm reading Psalms right now. It is beautiful. Like I said, Psalms is amazing for when you're standing. I have it right here. Psalms is beautiful for when you're standing in need and you may be sad or angry, but you still want to honor God. David was going through it and you can read that he is seriously in, in need of victory, but he glorified and honored God with his words. Psalms is also great for when you feel your enemies have the upper hand and you need to stay strong and trust that you soon will have the victory in the true upper hand. Okay. Jesus uses hard times to show his love for you because in these hard times, he's going to be able to show you how much he loves you and show you how he's going to work it out and bring you all the way up and bring you out with the victory and bring you out even better than you were before you even got into this trial and this hard time. As long as you continue to trust Jesus through the hard times, you will grow spiritually. And that is really what life is about, growing spiritually. Jesus really just wants us to grow spiritually because we are not 
of this world. We are fighting a spiritual battle every single day. Yes, we are physical beings, but we are also a spirit. Our spirit is in this physical body. And yes, we have to live in this physical world, but in reality, how we can conquer and receive victory in this physical world and in this natural world is to live in the supernatural and to grow spiritually and to understand what is going on in the supernatural and to understand that he does the supernatural things that bring victory into the natural. Jesus wants to see how you will act in this trial to see what he can trust and bless you with. I mean, if you just crumble with stuff like this, he's like, hey, this is how I get your new levels. Hard times is how I bring you up to a new level because you have to pass this test. And so if you just crumble during this and you don't trust me, I can't bring you on to new levels because I can't trust that you're gonna be, even be able to handle these new levels. Because with new levels comes with new devils. We are fighting in the spiritual and it's so hard because we can't see it. And that's the hard part, but it makes it a lot easier when you know that Jesus is with you and he is alive and he is wonderfully able to help you in this world and wonderfully able to help you in the spiritual world and wonderfully able to help you through absolutely everything because he came down to earth and he did it. That's why he's the only one that's able to help us. Not these other gods that people call God that were humans and just died. Humans that were full of sin and they're dead and their spirits are going back up to Jesus. Why? Because my God created them. The true and only living God created them. And they were mere humans. And they're gone. Even when people like to worship gold calves and junk, my God made the gold. There is nothing above Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Because if you are worshiping someone that was a human at one point, someone that lived, then all you're doing is worshiping the dead. That's it. You believe in the dead. Their spirit's going back up to my God for him to judge them on judgment day. They have to answer to my God. Amen. And that is just to put it into perspective. My God made them. My God made the gold and the things that people like to worship. My God did. Now that's the tea. Um, hairstyle was a fail. We'll get that out the way. But the Walmart trip was not a fail. I can't wait to get me some more products from there because, girl, they had some good stuff. But anyways, um, I just spoke facts right there. Okay, facts on facts on facts. Anyways, I love every single one of you guys. Like I said, I am trying to be as positive as I possibly can. The Psalms really just helped me. I'm going to go downstairs to my mom's level because my brother's building something on my mom's level. And Jordan's building something as well in his room. But I'm going to go down there and chill with them for a little while because my brother's been at work all day. And I'm going to try to lighten up my mood. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because... There's nothing really else for me to do and I'm really trying to say it's positive as I can because I'm in pain. I love you guys. God bless you all in Jesus' name. It's selfie. Go! Go! I persevered today though. I do want to set an example for you guys and I want to set the example that I persevered today. Even though I didn't want to show up on camera and I didn't want to do absolutely anything today because I really felt paralyzed by the dreams that I had and the attack that I was faced with this morning. Um, I persevered and I did what I had to do and I did it with a good attitude. I had to push myself because I really was really moody today and I really I could have continued to bicker with Jordan. I could have continued to make this day a bad day but I didn't and I hope that I have showed that example for you guys that you don't have to go by how you feel and I think that also helps you to grow spiritually because when you don't move in the direction of your feelings you you become more wise and you grow spiritually. So let's say you feel like you failed today. The fact that you recognize that you could have done better is already progress. I want you to get up tomorrow with your head up and I want you to try again. What am I talking about? I'm not uploading this at nighttime. It's already like seven o'clock at night. Do today what you are going to be happy with tomorrow. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I hope that those scriptures helped you guys because life isn't always easy. And David really did set that example. He was upset and I believe that he was scared, but he still decided to glorify and honor God and he came out with the victory. He still decided to be positive and believe that God was going to bring him out and God was going to crush his enemies and use them as his footstep. That's what will happen. Every tongue that has spoke against me, every person that has risen up against me, they have paid for what they have done. Or still have to pay for what they have done. Because through it, I decided to still praise Jesus and know that he was going to handle it. You can't hurt his babies without being punished. And it's very dangerous to hurt God's children because he's gonna have to deal with you. Trust that he will handle them. Just keep living 
and keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. Glorifying Jesus. Keep praising Jesus. Trust in Jesus because he's going to handle them. But the Bible also says that when he does handle them, you are not to be happy and you are not to rejoice. I know it sucks, but you are not to be happy about that because then he's going to have to allow you to be punished because he doesn't want us to be haughty and prideful. Actually, when they have to pay for what they've done, he actually wants us to be sorrowful for them. Be sorrowful. Be sorrowful. Be sorrowful for them. Be sad for them. This Christian walk ain't no joke, y'all. It's hard. It's hard, but it's it's better than living alone in this world. Hallelujah. I am not alone. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, hallelujah. Because God is the greatest power, we shall never, never be defeated. Amen, y'all. I love you guys. My knees be cracking. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Hey, that's how God made me. It is what it is. I love you. God bless you in Jesus' name. And it's time for your girl to go.